Come play with this. Welcome to the Pauper's Luck channel. <laughs> oh god. Sorry guys, welcome to the Pauper's Luck channel. Guys, I got a really cool Planeswalker deck for you today. Ashiok, the Planeswalker deck from the Theros Beyond Death um, theme here. Uh, it is a black and blue um, sort of controlish. Uh, deck which interacts with the graveyard and I got it from uh, a new shop uh, just down the road that my good friend Mr. Yates the legendary weapon himself recommended and yeah they actually had two of these left so I purchased one and I'm gonna play it tomorrow with some of my noob friends we're doing noob magic night tomorrow and I'm going to try it out and see um, how it is to play the deck. It says, Ashiok, Sculptor of Fears. Ashiok is a strange, enigmatic being with the power to torment foes by conjuring their darkest memories, fears, and regrets. Fill your graveyard along with your opponents for massive value as you slowly drive them insane. <laughs> Okay, guys, two booster packs in it as well. Let's crack a doodle. Let's see. I, and I honestly don't know what you get in this deck, so I, I don't know what the cards are in the deck. So if I slow roll a little bit, guys, please bear with me. We're going to go through this fairly slowly because I'm genuinely keen on seeing what I'm... What I'm getting so I can prepare myself for tomorrow's play as well. So Ashiok Sculptor of Fears. Plus two. Draw a card. Each player puts the top two cards of their library into their graveyard. Minus five. Oh, that's quite a lot. Uh, put target creature card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. That is pretty powerful. And the ultimate, which is minus 11. Holy smokes. That's a lot of loyalty counters. Gain control of all creatures target opponent controls hey that is pretty funky stains let's put this one aside beautiful love the artwork on this one gorgeous ashiok as always is a filthy bastard here's the beautiful deck box it's deck deck box itself what happened to your face, mate? Let's get it cracking. It's getting more and more difficult to get your hands around these as, as time goes by, obviously, because I bet they're about maybe about a year old or so. Zeros beyond that. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's something, something like that. The two booster packs them aside and a guide here hey before you play hey listen remember zelda anyone what does it say playing the decks terms to know escape flash and flying are some of the mechanics that you will be playing with what are planeswalkers we see chandra nanlar here pretty cool stuff awesome to the salsam okay Let's get into it. Here's the code. I think the code has expired. I'm not sure. First and best dressed. More than welcome to jump online and have a look. I oh, actually should be able to open it like this. There we go. Woohoo! Exciting. Okay, we got Gravebreaker Lamia interacts with the graveyard. Pretty cool card. Of the artwork on this one. Ashiok's Forerunner. Oh, this is the one where you fetch the Planeswalker itself. It has Flash. Such a library in our graveyard for the Planeswalker card. Reveal it, put it into your hand, blah, 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 blah. Cool. Get two of those. Elite Instructor. Draw a card, discard a card. Hey, Timuret, Chosen from Death. Constellation card or showcase. Pretty cool. Another instructor. 
a mystic wizard a little bit of milling you get one two three Farika spawn the escape mechanic cool cool one two underworld charger nightmare horse it can't block but it has some other fairly decent things that it's doing one two three devourer of memory nightmare come play with this one two Swimmer in Nightmares. Jesus Christ, what are these beings? Creatures. You get some harpies. You get a place out of harpies. And here are the lands. And the swamps. Pretty cool artwork on this one and you get the how many do you get two unknown shores as well and um, one mana of any color as long as you play pay one generic mana which is not bad for this deck glimpse of freedom draw a card and then escape not bad sleep of the dead get three of those Final death. Exile target creature. That's pretty powerful. Funeral rites. Myers grasp. And you get the code here as well. Boom. Awesome. And here are the reference cards that we already know about. Cool stuff. Cool stuff. Let's have a look. So what we're going to do now is to delve into those booster packs and see if we can pull something nice. Obviously, there are... The reason why... I always say this. The reason why I really like these decks, it's really, really good for beginners because you have a base. You have something to work from. So you can start from this. You can, you know, swap the cards around, change them for more powerful cards... Do your own combos but i i don't know i i, I just I, I think it's a really good way to start getting into magic these planeswalker decks or also if you have a look at one of my uh previous videos when i go through uh, uh deck builders toolkits those are really really good as well okay let's go into oh hello lady look babe beautiful girls are chasing me even in the booster packs. What can you do? What can you do? Okay, fingers crossed. Come on, poppers, luck! Here we go. Hey, another charger. Jesus Christ. Look at this guy. What's happening with the autofocus? There we go. Look at those eyes. Hubris. Brine Giant. Warden. Omen of the Sea, not a bad card. This is not a bad card. It's played in standard, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not a standard player, so I'm pretty sure they play it in standard. Elysian Karyatid, nice. Here we go. Underworld Fires. Alirios and Ruptured. Destiny Spinner, love this card. Haven't played it anything, but just look, two drop, two, three creatures and enchantment spells you control can't be countered. Plus target land you control becomes an XX elemental creature with trample and haste until end of turn, where X is the number of enchantments you control. Okay, here we go. What are we going to get? Boom! Taranika, a crow and wet wren. Pegasus and one of these beautiful lands. Put this one here. Nothing to hooray too much about. Next pack. Let's see. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We're 
going into September soon now, and you know what what's happening in September, obviously, everyone. Zendikar Rising is coming. I think I have about three set booster boxes on the way. So I'm really looking forward to it. Okay, let's have a look. Unfortunately, there are some news. It doesn't look like the fetch, fetch lands are going to get reprinted in those for all your uh, you know disappointed modern players, but yeah, it is what it is. Fruit of Tizarus. <laughs> what is that? Is that a... looks like a pomegranate. Iliad's Pilgrim, I'm not even going to try to say that, Jesus, what is that? Hero of the Games, Moss Viper, wow, gorgeous, look at that, look at those colors, don't touch this. For the final death, Unicorn, okie dokie, inevitable end, Sage of Mysteries, here we go guys, ooh, Constellation called card. Caliphy, beloved of the sea. Not bad, we'll take it. And for the mythic, come on, something good now. Fingers crossed. Here we go, Popper's luck. Boom! Shadow Spear, nice. Dude, I've been eyeing this card. Not a... Nice. And a swamp and a... Reflection. Not too much value, but this is not a bad card. I think it's a pretty cool equipment card. Anyways, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please make sure to help the channel out by subscribing, liking, and commenting. If you don't want to do all that, just if you're not a subscriber, if you can subscribe, that would be much appreciated. Mighty kind of you to help out. And I will catch you on the flip side. All the best. See you around. Bye-bye.